Good morning people, it's Saturday morning and this is Christian and I'm playing around with Fusion 360 again and I want to make this sphere corner on a box so this is a bit of a geometric problem that's why I enjoy and want to make it and share the information if you make a, a simple square box or a cube it's much easier if you make like a box with all the size or different size it becomes a small problem creating a sketch to create this nice sphere so this is just like a revolved sphere nice and easy so we're going to have a look at this and what we say all well, the faces need to be perpendicular of course this needs to be a box where all of everything is 90 degrees between the faces we're going to just create a new design and let's be good now first of all start by saving your file uh, fill it on uh, box corner uh, because if you start saving a lot of people have come things oh I lost all my design if you don't start a save or to save or recovery function is not working properly to my knowledge the other thing we do follow rule number one we create a component so we get everything in the right place open up the component we're gonna start with a sketch we're gonna just make a box just make a rectangle let's make the 40 by 80 and extrude it something like 30 millimeters up so all the sides have different lengths here all the edges here are different lengths so we need to think a bit we're going to open up our bodies and our sketches we're going to hide i have a turn off auto hide of sketches i'm going to hide the first sketch i don't need it anymore first thing i need is a construction plane that runs uh, in the middle between these two so let's use mid plane where are you mid plane between these two faces i'm going to make it the round corner on this here close to me hit ok we're going to create a sketch of course on our newly nicely plane here we are first thing we do is some projections this is very important i'm going to hit p on the keyboard to start projection do not project in the edge you can get projecting the edge and get a nice line but fusion gets a bit confused sometimes with projected edges and starts flipping things around so what i want to do i want to find the corner I only only project in the point of this corner and the point of this corner and these are of course the points that are if i turn on my construction planes these are on the same plane as working on so don't get confused and i'm going to hide the body look at sketch we're going to create a line this line is the same as the edge which i didn't want to project it and we're going to make a line straight out here we're going to go up we're going to go down and we're going to do one line from here to here now we're going to turn everything we don't are going to use into construction geometry, which is this line, uh, this line, and this line, and we hit the line type to construction. I'm going to need some uh, uh, constraints. The first one, this is going to be perpendicular. The other one is that this line, hold down control, this line, and this. I can select more lines if I hold down control, it's going to be equal. And by doing that, we have a fully defined sketch. The next thing we need is a circle, so C on the keyboard. We do a circle. We're going to tell Fusion it's going to be tangent to this here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to add a line now. This is just for visibility. We're going to line a construction line from a center point and straight out. Because now comes the dimension thinking. We can do it two ways. D for dimension. We could dimension this here. I'm going to right click and select radius because I don't want, want the diameter. So we can say we want a 10 millimeter radius of the, the fillet of a sphere or the other way i'm going to leave that one we can dimension it from the tangent point here up to the edge of the, the corner and say we want that to be eight millimeters down so you can leave it like that for now and now i'm going to do the revolve s on the keyboard start typing our command revolve and you can use the blue one for solids the profile is going to be this small here and the axis. This is one which I've had hidden the bodies. It's easier to select things because this whole sketch is inside the body. If you have the body turned on, you're going to click on the faces of the body. And we select the axis here. And after that, I turn on the body. And automatically, Fusion understands I want to cut away this. And hit OK. And by doing that, we have done a nice corner here. And we can do some checking. If we do an inspect, we can see that these two lines is 12.56864, 12.5664, so they have the same length and the same width. Eh, not that one. We start selection, these are all the same length. And the resulting design intent we want that if we look at this, we get a, a circle here, or a radius is going to be a tangent to both sides. So that's the look you get by with this workflow. 
And of course, we can tune our, our dimensions and do, we can do it 15, it's gonna get bigger. And of course, if I go back and change how we dimension, we can delete this. We can dimension our circle, click on the circle and yes, you can dimension diameter, but for my thinking, I prefer to right click and select radius and say, I wanna make that 20 millimeters and I'm gonna finish. And now the radius of this fillet corner, my call is now 20 millimeters. So that is how I create this sphere corner on a, any box of any size, basically as long as all the three faces are perpendicular. With that said, take care, see you around and goodbye.